Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to show you how to create a data validation list and base it on another data validation list. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Sheet 1 is where I'm going to keep all my information about my employees. Sheet 2 is where I'm, where I'm going to put my data validation list. I'm going to go ahead and name this state. Feel free to make it bold. I've already formatted it for bold. I'm going to put in two states. I'm going to highlight them both and in my name box I'm going to call it state. Just press enter after you type. Go back to sheet one, highlight wherever you'll fill in the states. Make sure you're on the data tab and do a data validation. Change it from any value to a list and your source is that named range which is equal state and then always test it. There's Georgia, there is Florida, so it's working. So now the data validation based on another data validation, if I pick one state, I only want the counties for that state. So I'm going to go back to sheet two and I'm going to highlight my two states and copy them. I'm going to go to B1 and I'm going to do a transpose so I just don't have to type those again. So whatever states or whatever you put in column A in this example should be going across the top as a header row. I'll go ahead and make those bold. Let's put in Henry County and let's put in Fulton County. For Florida I'm going to do Dade and I'm going to do Wilson. Highlight the two counties for Georgia and here's what's tricky. You're going to name those GA. The two counties for Florida, FL. Go back to sheet number one, highlight where you're putting counties. We're going to do another data validation, make it a list, and you're going to use the Excel function equals indirect, and you're going to base it on the state, which is D2. Click on OK. There are my two counties for Georgia, pick one, and for Florida, there are my two counties. So it is working perfectly. Please visit us at TrialityOnline.com for more free videos.